Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here, and welcome to the Fuel Production Facility Episode 2. It seems you guys really enjoyed my last video, so I'm excited to do some more work. Uh, we have another amazing Martian sunrise, so that means that it's probably time for us to get building. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So on our first episode, we built this facility here. This is going to uh, be a cold uh, kind of fridge area where we're able to drop off our oxide and volatiles into those chutes without them melting. The next thing that we're gonna have to do is build uh, the chutes out to where we want them to go. So they come over here uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate out the oxide and the volatiles and we're going to do that with the so conveyor sorter, our item kit sorter here. So we'll build uh, one sorter for the oxide, we're going to build one sorter for the volatiles. Um, I'm going to do it like this, actually we're going to turn it sideways. I'm building two sorters instead of one just in case you accidentally throw something in here you don't want, uh, therefore it won't just uh, accidentally go into one of the uh, areas I'm gonna build here. So we'll build this here and we'll build this here. There we go. So now we're gonna take our chutes and just connect these guys up. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it into this area and it's going to melt down the oxide and the volatiles. So I think I should be able to go straight from this one there and then this will turn here and then this is actually just going to uh, we're gonna bring it up yeah and then we'll dump oh I do not need more sorters apparently I'm stuck as well uh, yeah it's gonna bring it up and it's gonna dump it into just a t little one by one room that I build here so uh, we need shoots if I could spell shoots and if you guys uh, missed my first episode, definitely go and uh, watch that. It'll definitely keep you up to date with what we're go what's going on here. So there we go. I think I'm just going to build it just like that. And that should be tall enough. The next one, I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to bring it up. Oh, maybe. And this is gonna do the exact same thing. So I'll have to decide which one I want the oxides to go to, which one the volatiles, but it doesn't really matter for now. So we'll go straight and we'll go down like that, perfect. So now we're gonna grab our item kit walls here and I'm gonna build them out of windows so I can see what's going on. The pressure really shouldn't get too high in here because I will be using an active vent to pump all of this air out. So I'm not too worried about super high pressures or anything like that. Uh, we'll build one here, one there, one there. And then, you know, for the ceiling, we'll put a uh, composite wall. One there and one over here. There we go. Okay, so now uh, our stuff will drain into here. So oxide in one, volatiles in the other. The only thing that we're gonna need are active vents. So a, event and I'll build them identical just so it's a little easier to see uh, let's build yeah let's build an active vent here and an active vent here there we go and then I'm gonna need a wall heater because it may get cold in there especially with these uh, oxide blocks so the wall heater is gonna go like that and like that there we go uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is grab some wire, oh, or cable, sorry, and we're going to have to cable this stuff up. And then I'll be able to actually fill in these walls. So put a four-way here, four-way here, go straight, 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 straight. There we go. And even though the temperature's gonna get down, or the pressure's gonna get to zero, with this wall heater here, we'll still actually have, um, it'll still be able to melt the oxide and volatiles for some testing that I've done anyway. Next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get rid of this RTG here. Maybe I'll build it like, let's build it like here. It's just hidden out of the way. So we just need power from somewhere. I think we can throw cables through these. 
No, we can't. Okay. So I'm going to have to build it somewhere else. Let's build it right here. How about? And we'll have to connect up this guy right here. And then connect this all the way down to the other side. Of course, my wire cutters have gone missing. Uh, here they are. Grab our wire cutters so we can cut that off because I placed it the wrong way. Okay, so we'll wire this up. And it's going to use a bit of power. So at some point I might add in a system here where you can turn this whole thing on and off, especially when you're not using it. Uh, especially when you're doing this uh, not on a creative world, having a feature to turn it on and off is going to be really important. Okay. Now all I need is my authoring tool, which I seem to have lost as well. I, apparently I'm just losing everything today. Here we go. So now what we're going to do is let's let's just grab some pipe first, actually. Okay, pipe, and we're going to send these in separately. Actually, we can com yeah we can combine these because we're going to end up filtering them out anyway. I just don't want them combined in open air with a wall heater because that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. And I think I, did, I actually have done it before and it started a fire and destroyed the whole thing. So yeah, that's never good. So I go like that. I'm gonna put a meter on here just so I can uh, see what the pressures are doing. There we go. And I think I have to turn this the other way. Let's just see. So there's zero pressure on there now. If I turn this on, there we go. We do have pressure. Okay. So let's throw these wall heaters on and we can close this up. And I can turn this on. It shouldn't draw too much pressure because I'll just bring that to a vacuum. There we go. There we go. Here and here oh actually need to turn this on first there we go okay so now that is all filled with a uh, glass there so let's just check the pressure and it is steady so that means both of these guys are out of vacuum right now the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to power these guys which the data and power port i believe is on this side is that just power? Is data on the other side? No. I believe that's data and power. So we're going to have to power these up. So we will grab... And I need to place down a computer somewhere. Uh, I'm actually going to grab a chute here. And because this is dumping out, I'm just going to go like that. Let's actually one more. And dump it right on the ground. There we go. So let's grab some more of our cable coil. And let's connect these guys up. And we'll just use a corner. And unfortunately, it's not going to look the best, but you know what? It's kind of hidden behind all this stuff anyway. And, you know, the only one that's going to notice is uh, me and everyone, I guess, watching this video. So I, that may be quite a few people. Uh, we'll connect that up. There we go. And all the way to here. There we go. And I can just build a corner if I had my wire cutters in my other hand, which I seem to have dropped again. Man, I just need to keep this stuff in my inventory. So we'll connect this up with a four-way, uh, just a regular junction. And because everything is kind of over here, let's build the computer right in front of this whole sorting system. So yeah, we can build it right there. Yeah. And then we need to connect this up as well. So we'll throw a straight piece, straight corner. We'll need the data connected so we can build a junction. And we'll build a corner. There we go. And then we also need the sorter, the motherboard sorter here. We'll turn this on. And we do not have enough power for that computer, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, so what I really need to do is stop using these RTGs and start uh, powering it with something else. But for now, we're actually going to just place down two of these guys. Let's build, <clears throat> yeah, let's build a guy right 
Yeah, let's just build two of these guys. One right here. Maybe I'll build three. One right there and one right here. And that'll just be our power coming in. I will go ahead and delete this guy because I don't like it sitting there anymore. And we will connect these guys up over to this wire right there. If I can reach, which it looks like I can, sweet. Okay, so we'll go straight, junction, junction. There we go, one more. Yeah, that'll look a little bit better. Obviously, when you're playing for real, uh, you're gonna need a power system, but uh, the RTG is pretty much just showing you need, you just need to bring a power line over to this area. And maybe uh, with this uh, series, if it uh, becomes popular enough, uh, maybe I'll build a uh, the fuel generator because we're going to be making a lot of fuel and maybe I'll show you how to power this whole setup just by using the uh, fuel generator and I'm assuming you're going to be able to power way more than just this with that fuel generator. Oh, it says it's on but it's currently flashing in error probably because it doesn't have the chip in there. There we go. Uh, the next thing we need to do is label these. So I think I will have the oxide come to this one. So do do oxide for this one. Fall. Volatile. Volatiles there. Okay. So oxide volatiles, and that should be good. So we should be able to see this. Yep. So oxide whitelist, and there are just a ton of options here. I wish you could somehow, maybe if I type in ox, nope. So we're gonna have to find oxide. I'm gonna close out that belt. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure it's pretty far down if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is kind of a pain. Okay, it looks like I found it here. Uh, so the first one, I think this is oxide. Yep, so oxide. And then over here, we're gonna whitelist volatiles. And that is like all the way down again. Right, there we go, volatiles, there we go. So then anything else we throw in here should just uh, get kind of pooped out the other side there. So honestly, uh, I don't know if you have to leave the computer running. I'm just gonna leave it running and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our shoots and I'm just gonna build a little inlet here just to make sure that it is working correctly. I wonder if I put the wrench in my hand if I could just overwrite this piece. Nope. So we'll build build a junction here just so I can uh, add stuff to it. And I want the junction going like that. Yep, and then I'll just build an inlet right here. Luckily, we have enough room. Doesn't look the best, but you know. So let's grab some oxite. And we're just going to drop this in here and see what happens. Should go to that first one. There we go. It dropped in there. Let's see if the pressure's increasing. Three. Looks like it may not be working. Uh, so this is why you build this um, in experimental mode here. So uh, what we need to do is, I guess we should, uh, yeah, we should probably just replace the uh, active vent with a pressure regulator, a back pressure regulator. Yeah, we'll build it with the back pressure regulator. So let's go ahead and, and that'll actually allow us to control it a little bit better. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to undo these guys. So let's go like that, let's go like that. And of course, it'll probably start melting once uh, I open this up. Turn that off, turn that off. Turn this off, turn this off. There we go. You know, yeah, I, I think that will that should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to build back pressure regulator here. So let's uh, grab our gun here. And I think we're going to have to lay this out a little bit different. So regulator, I have to see which way that it needs to face. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go like, so we need a back pressure regulator. 
Yeah, so it's going to have to go like that. And that. I think we can put a passive vent right on the end of this. Let's see. I, we may need to use one. Nope. There we go. That's fine. Perfect. So we'll keep a back pressure regulator of, uh, yeah, 50 kPa. That's fine. Uh, so now we can grab our wrench and we can grab our pipe here and we're going to destroy this and this destroy that and that and then we just need to connect this up here yeah because <clears throat> yeah i guess it got all the way down to a vacuum and it doesn't like that i swear it worked before maybe i didn't have the um the vent working for so long before anything entered it would probably be a good idea to put a logic system in here because i don't i would assume that that could heat this up quite a bit. So back pressure regulator on, back pressure regulator on. There we go, we're at 50, we're at 50. Okay. And that's nice because it isn't drawing in the air now. So let's see here, we can wait. And that's gonna, oh, of course, I forgot to turn my wall heater back on. Turn that on, close this up, turn this on, close it up. There we go. Okay, so that should start melting those that oxide there. It might take a little bit to get up to temperature. Yeah, let's, but while we're waiting for that to melt, oh, 220, so it's 222, that'll be easy to remember. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is, I am actually just gonna put some radiators on here, just so, it, just in case it does get really hot. Like, I don't want anything bad happening. So we'll just put a couple radiators on there. I don't know if that'll do anything, but if it gets really hot, that should help. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is build our filtration system. So obviously this is gonna have oxide and volatiles. They're gonna get warmed up uh, separately here. Uh, they're going to melt and then they're gonna come into this pipe. So. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to build a tank. We're going to build a kit tank. And I I don't didn't mean to limit myself to this small of an area, but it might be good, you know, try and build it as small as possible. So we build a tank here, and we need access. I want access to that data, so we'll also build a tank right there. So then let's grab some spray paint here. <clears throat> And we're gonna put red here, and that one will be white. That'll be perfect. So our our volatiles will go here, our oxide will go there. So just like uh, some of the uh, filtration systems I built before, um, if you have questions on how to do that, definitely go and check out my other videos. So we'll build a kit atmospherics, and we want a filter. And yeah, I like it facing this way and I need it right there. So then you can switch out the filters if you need to. So, and then we'll build this guy, another filter. We'll turn it around right there. Okay. So then what I think I'm gonna do is this, let's see, 227. Oh, it is going up, but I don't know if that's because that's uh, melting in there. One thing that we can do is uh, we can, I might put gas sensors in here just so we can kind of keep track of what's going on. Uh, we're gonna grab our pipe and we're just gonna pipe this stuff up. So, yep, now we have our melted gases. Our melted gases are gonna enter into this pipe which is gonna be distributed over to our filtration system. So we'll grab some more pipe here and we'll just bring this around this side. And over to here. Yeah, there we go. So this should be the input. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the input here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to, I usually don't do this, but I want to just vent all the extra gases out of here. Uh, let me just think about this. So we have our that's our filter. This is our unfiltered. Yeah, so unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna have to connect these up, which is fine. Uh, so we'll go, we'll connect this one here. 
and we'll go over here. So that'll be that one. And then our unfiltered will come out of here. It'll go into here. And when you're only filtering two gases, yeah, this would definitely be the way to go because then it's gonna fil filter out all the volatiles and then uh, there'll be oxygen obviously left in here. So the oxygen will come in here. The problem with uh, oxide is that there are other chemicals and stuff in there as well. I believe there might be some like carbon dioxide or something like that. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have leftovers is what I'm saying. So we need to uh, get rid of those. So this will be our filtered. So this filtered can come out to here. Okay, and then this is our unfiltered. So uh, what I'm gonna do with the unfiltered gases is I'm gonna send them over here. And I'm just gonna vent them into the atmosphere because uh, I don't have a uh, additional filtration system, but it'd be it would definitely be a good idea to uh, connect this up to your uh, main filtration system, and that'll at least uh, that'll allow you to at least use these uh, gases instead of just wasting them, because you are putting power into the whole system to make sure that it uh, uh, filters the gases. So you might as well get as much out of it as you can. So there we go. We have our filters. We have our filtration system here. Um, the next thing we need to do is just, we're going to have to power this guy up. So let's grab some wire and we'll grab our wire cutters, which we handily put in our inventory and we'll connect these up here, connect this up here. And then we're also just going to go straight through here into the computer. Uh, we'll go straight through here. And then I'm also going to uh, come out of here just so we have that data port if we choose to use it in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll build a corner here. Uh, yeah, it is a good idea to use it just so you don't accidentally like over pressurize your system. But for now, we're not really super worried about that because we're just starting. But that is definitely something that I will add in here. There we go. So now all we need to do is grab our red spray paint. We can spray paint that red and let's just spray paint this whole line red right here. There we go. And then we can go, let's grab some white. I like keeping a uh, yellow as unfiltered gas because most of your gases are going to be unfiltered. So, um, and it's the uh, original color that you get. So uh, we'll go like that. That'll still be yellow, but then this will be white here. There we go. Okay. So now we have our oxide and we have our volatiles. Um, let's grab, yeah, we can just keep this in our hand here. And so let's grab some filters. I'm going to grab the large filters just for testing purposes, but obviously the smaller filters work. There we go. We'll grab our oxide or uh, oxygen filter and we'll grab the large one of that as well grab two of those guys and then we can uh, turn these puppies on there we go and uh, I'll grab my scanner here in a second for some reason it appears as if this is not melting um, let me just try to, because there should be some pressure in there, so I don't know exactly what's happening. Let's grab some volatiles and see what happens to them. Uh, and then I'm also going to just cut this, cut this part off just so we can see if it's gaining pressure. So it is not. I don't know why that is. It, it seems to me as though that should be warming up that environment. Let's just, uh, we're actually gonna go inside of here and see what's going on. Oh, okay, so it was really cold out when I first did that. So let's get it a little warmer because it's nice and warm out now. There we go, oops. There we go. And let's open up this, let it warm up in here. Yeah, I, I built this in the middle of the night so it was super cold in there. So that's the reason, oh. Ooh, okay.
Okay, that appears to be combusting. Let's just see what the pressure is. Let's uh, go over here and let's just start filtering out this stuff. Just so it doesn't get ridiculously hot. Okay, there we go. Okay, that stopped combusting luckily. I have a feeling there's probably just enough oxygen in the environment where it's letting it do that. Let's uh, throw some more volatiles in there just to see. Yeah, that is uh, combusting in there pretty good. So we may have to think about a different way of doing this. I don't know why, I don't know why it's doing that. I guess the outside atmosphere just has a tiny bit of air in it. Yeah, that is the uh, only reason that I could think of. There we go, okay, oh, now that's combusting. Oh, now the whole thing, oh, that broke the wall in between. Now we have a massive fire. That is not good. But our system is broken anyway, so, um, yeah. So, like I said, uh, we're building this in creative mode, so we know, uh, <laughs> look at that, it's just burning everything up here. Let's grab a fire extinguisher, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we're building this in creative mode, just in case we have accidents like this. Okay, we're gonna try and gonna try and extinguish this fire. I don't know if it's actually gonna do anything, but we're certainly going to try. Here we go, extinguish all this stuff. There we go, it looks like I'm actually maybe making some progress here. Yeah, so we're building it in creative mode, just in case we have massive fires, because it would be a bad time if you did this in non-creative mode. I guess this fire extinguisher just has unlimited f fuel to it. Um, let me, also, I'm gonna drop that, gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna open up these walls here, so then that fire can just kind of vent out. Because I think keeping it in, in an enclosed space is not a good idea. Okay, guys, there we go. Yep, that really got it. Well, we made some progress on our filtration system today, uh, but obviously we have more work to do. So I would say in uh, the next episode, we're going to figure out uh, how to properly filter out these gases. Like I said, we separated them out, so I don't know why it started a fire. The only thing could be is that there was some oxygen in the volatiles room, so when the volatiles started to... Uh, uh, melt down it started a fire because of the wall heater heat source um yeah that is probably what happened and then once the that wall in between probably got hot then all this oxygen was right next to there that combusted and started a fire so uh before the next episode i'll just go ahead and i will uh, clean this up a little bit and we will figure out how to do this a better way but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, even though I guess at this point it doesn't look like we've made a whole lot of progress. But uh, hopefully you guys will join me again next time. And again, if you like this video, please go ahead and like. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that so then we can uh, continue building this together and you can uh, not miss any of my future videos. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.